Hey guys, I'm so excited to see you today. Listen, Debbie doesn't know I'm here. So what has happened is we're getting ready to record the real coffee talk, but I wanted to come over and just express so many things I have to tell you. I wanted to tell you that first of all, thank you for watching the real coffee talk. We have so much fun doing this. I want to shout out to Marcy Dunn. We're going to shout out to her today in the Real Coffee Talk, but she watches us and she tells us how much fun we are. We have so much fun doing this. Listen, because I'm limited on time, I need to go over some things. So you know I'm Tina Drake. If you don't know that, I am. Hi, I'm Tina Drake. My name on here is going to be Sunshine, just because I want you guys to experience all the wonderful things that my company live love llc has to offer so what we've started recently is i've teamed up with bella v which is bella la v is debbie crawford's company and she takes these pictures wait hold on one second i think i hear her okay i think we're okay so listen up my name is sunshine i own live love llc we do these videos because we want you to feel how much love and wonderful things that you have around you okay but the great thing is I've started this new thing so I have this writing and I write to people in jail so it's kind of sad when people get into that position and I feel like they might need a little boost well as I started this writing I was writing to a good friend of mine and it kept growing and people said well if you could do that could you do that for me so then I went back to the Bella La Vie and I talked to Debbie and said, Hey, what do you think about us using your pictures, your postcards? So here you can look at all of these. And Live Love is getting a mail, is that a post office box? We're going to get a post office box. I'm going to use these and you guys can send us requests. You can send us names, addresses people where they're at wherever you want to be so I even have some engine some trains I know of some people out there that would love to have these postcards moms dads aunts uncles just send me a little line if you want to hit it up on the Facebook and talk about it on there that's fine you can message us still worried she's gonna show up okay so that's our new thing live love LLC we are a company we're starting a campaign we want to change the world with one happy thought at a time that's pretty much it what an amazing world if we could change the world with one happy thought at a time what a wonderful world we would live in okay I still have to move on so besides that I've added a bunch of different avenues for live love we're gonna be having some seminars we're putting together of still have the book no guys I haven't published it yet but it's because it's evolving to be even bigger and I'm so excited okay I am running out of time so I'm gonna move on went to a sound bath Malibu it's gonna talk really fast so catch up okay went to a sound bath they used all these instruments so guess what I've decided to start gathering. Beautiful instruments, bowls, sound bowls, crystal bowls, bells. That's even my great grandfather's hundred year old bell. So we do these vibrational sound baths and they're just like meditation or yoga, but with sound. We don't have it all refined and put together, but as we evolve, we're going to keep in touch with you. And I might do a little more sneak peek when Debbie's not here. I'm pretty sure she's coming and I'm sure she just heard my ball. Listen guys, so excited about this journey and adventure. I am Sunshine and I'm bringing you happiness with one thought at a time and we can change the world together. Don't forget, look out for our new post office box. And we'll send your message on a beautiful Bella La Vie postcard. Hey, guess what? We've even decided to make it donation only. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, I have to go. Bye. Wait just a second. I've got to turn off the camera. Are we on? I think we're on. Oh, okay. Listen, guys. I heard her come in. I didn't have time to clean this up, so we're just going to let her see what happens. Here she comes. I'm just going to keep this recording so you guys are getting a sneak peek if she doesn't edit it. 
Oh, hey girl, what are you doing? Hey, I just finally got here. There's been traffic all over. I don't know. It's taken me forever to get here, so. Are you ready to record today? Well, we're kind of... Yes. Well, well, you're ready to record, but it looks like you're ready to mail something. What are you doing? Just be really careful because the camera is on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, everybody. So she she's knows. been recording. <laughs> so okay. Well, what? Well, where okay. are we going from here? Hey guys, welcome to the Real Coffee Talk. We're back, and we're so excited to be back to be with you guys. Yes, we're we are so excited. We've got so many new things planned. We've been actually working on new programming and interesting things that you have asked for, and we're going to try to fulfill those. We are. So, I am super excited. I'm probably. A little too bubbly today. Well, I don't know why. Hey, I like bubbly. I know. I know. Oh. She just came in, so she's like, "Huh? Oh, right, what are you doing?" <laughs> well, yeah, I have to stop for just a second. <laughs> what What are we doing with the postcards? Are we picking uh, out some you really like, or no? I have decided that we can begin together with right. "Live Love" and Bella Levy. And Which we have campaign. been. The, we've already been doing it in in the past, not quite on a big scale, but we've been doing it on a little scale. Right. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to let people choose from natural, wildlife. Oh. Your what is this called? You have to tell me again. Macro photography. It's her macro photography. <laughs> My favorite. Of course, thing. I'm getting ready to show them, but I'll wait until just a minute. But a sneak peek of our mystery photography, uh, mm -hmm. and she has all of these beautiful postcards. You do well. A lot of them come from people like you that say, you know, I, I wish I could see this, or you know. They, they ask about different things. And this is and one I, of my very oh. favorites. <laughs> That's I like that one too. And then, of course, you can tell us a quick story. We're not going to stay on this forever, guys. Remember, I just oh. kind of threw her into this, and she's still saying, "I'm not sure what you're doing, well, Miss, Ray, <laughs> Miss, Miss Sunshine," and you need uh. to think about it. Well, this one was actually used in order for a construction company to win what they call the Matthew Miles Award. Wow. And that's kind of like the Oscars for uh, construction. And that photo was put in, and it was actually with Walsh Construction. They put it in and it said, um, the sun never sets on safety. And they actually won the Matthew Miles Award. And so it was in the, it was in the actual application. So it was uh, part of it's that absolutely process. beautiful. So. So I'm making her nervous. We have to move forward. <laughs> I, you, if you haven't noticed, I, I've kind of come in and mm -hmm. thrown her into this. So I'm just well, going to let you guys know this is just a quick campaign. Right. We are teaming up with Bella Levy and uh, Live Love LLC. I'm super excited to offer this to you by donation only. All you have to do is drop us a line. You can ask, request it on Facebook and whatever you feel that is best and send a message so to this somebody. So is, this is what we were talking, you were asking me about this the other day. Yes. People being able to send in a request and say, hey, my dad's having a rough time. Can you send him the, uh, the falcon, you know, the baby falcon yes. picture and just say, da, 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 yes. love Stephanie. And then we send it to them, and right. Oh, I got you. So, <laughs> well, she's a little ahead of me there. We, <laughs> but this is great. I think it's wonderful. It'll be fun, and it's what I'm always talking about. When yeah, we're always on the real and we have been doing it on a small scale right. up till now, and it, it doesn't really make me nervous, nervous. But any photographer, any photographer you talk to, their photography is a is a piece of them. It's kind of like I'm putting myself out there, and that's what makes me nervous. It's not the, sure. it's not the postcards. It's just that. You know, did I tweak that one just right? Did I get close enough to the? Can you see right. the eye? Can you can you actually count the you know the little uh, hairs on their nose or like the dragonflies? Can you see all the hairs in the back of their head? The, so that just she's very into <laughs> photography. As you notice, I look at her and go, "See, that's why I wanted to do this." I'm super so, yeah. excited about this. It's just a new portion that we're right. offering to you, and I just wanted to share it with everybody. So when we post this, we'll put up the. The actual uh, P.O. box that right. they're going to be Which using. Which I'm so excited you brought that up. The reason, how, I'm just going to go on into the Real Coffee Talk. Can That's we do fine. That? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah, we're already there. So <laughs> let's go ahead and start. Hey, guys. We're back. It's yep. Tina and Debbie. Debbie. And we're with Kentuckiana News, bridging the Bridging the Gap Productions right. and the Real Coffee Talk. I'm just super excited to have you guys here. We have a whole list of things we want to oh. just kind of feature and highlight. Yeah. And as she mentioned in the very beginning, 
we are working in a mentoring group that these judges yes. have put together. Oh, it's amazing. So before we go into all of those little segments, I do want to say about a year ago, if you look back, our Real Coffee Talk started with actually talking about the post office. Yes. And I have come to fall in love with my postmaster and all of the people at the post office. Yeah, they are and pretty it, special. And it doesn't matter which one I've gone into. I've actually taken note and they've all been helpful. They've all yes. been wonderful. They're great. You know, they just help me get through all of the things. And I've had little things where I'd put my company name on there and I'd get it sent back or whatever. So what happened was they mentioned, you know what, Tina, you might be interested in a post office box. Yeah because I am writing to people from all over the world and I send and they don't messages. Need to know right. Exactly where you live sometimes. Well, and not only that, it's just I don't I don't really go to, you know, I go to the post office or I go to my mailbox to get my bills or the mm -hmm. magazine or yes. whatever. Yeah. And I kind of needed that separated. Yes. And especially with this new campaign and, and how yeah, we're trying this. Yeah, this one's going to be I have a feeling we're <laughs> I need to start taking more pictures. <laughs> right. And you know, we're even looking for, I've even talked to some other artists and you have actually helped me find some other artists that we're talking to and work with them. Right. But we have so many great things going on that this was just one that portion and that's why I wanted to tell you guys, think about your post, your, your postal worker. Oh yeah. Um, think and about I went driving. By, I went by a mailbox the other day and they had flowers growing up all around the mailbox. And we asked. And there were bees. Right. I thought, uh oh. And we discussed that last year. Yes. You know, I mean, we discussed the safety, the safety of your oh. postal worker. And if you need something like, I, I thought that it was really important to have a home-based business away from home. Right. You know, I necessarily don't need the expense of all of that. Right. We have this and we oh, have the yeah. studio. So we love our studio. Yeah. And we're very thankful for Bob. Oh, Bob and Tammy. They are, <laughs> they are just amazing. I could not ask for, this just kind of landed on us. We right. Didn't, we didn't really come here looking for the studio. I came in to interview somebody and ran into the owner and he asked me if I was looking for a studio and I was like, well, yeah, because we need a soundproof. Well, then he showed us around and, well, there we we're are. here. So, <laughs> here we are. Yeah, the entities all just came together and we were there. And it just, it continually evolves. Yeah. It really does. So, uh, we're going to wrap up the postal workers, but if you, you know, oh. if you happen to think of all those safety tips, if you could just remember, you know, clean around your mailbox. Yes. Remember, it's package time. That was another thing on my list that I it wanted to make Christmas sure. Christmas is coming up. Yes, and it is. Amazon and prime time and yeah. remember those postal workers you know they have to drive they have to pay for all those expenses of their automobiles plus if right. they have to get out and get back in at 20 other homes yours could be delayed I mean I don't think our postal workers just would do that but just spend be a little consider. extra money and yeah. buy a bigger mailbox you know we showed you all in that clip that we did yeah. and we, we might run it again but we showed you a mailbox that's about this wide and it's this tall and about that long mm -hmm. it holds all kinds of stuff. Right. Just go buy a bigger mailbox. It's not that big a deal. Right. And then take a f the flowers away from the mailbox and yeah, they'll love you for it. Right. You might get the candy instead of you leaving the candy for them. <laughs> and they truly do care about your packages. I've been yeah. in there so late. I mean, like I said, lately I've written quite a few. I'm up to almost 20 a week right. that I mail out on my cards and it's just been overwhelmingly fun yes but also if I didn't have those postal workers I wouldn't be able to do it where were they yeah I mean I, I first of all couldn't afford it oh <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's it is the least expensive as far as that so moving from that the reason that I talked about all of that so much is because my daughter is in a competition Oh yes. And this is wonderful. It for is her. wonderful. She could be on a cover of Maxim magazine. Mm -hmm. She has worked her entire life for this. This, this is now, one of her goals. It is. It's one of her goals. And if you guys want to and if you are a part of the internet, Facebook, Instagram right. world, please vote. Her name is Ashby Drake and I will you can get on my Facebook or whatever. Which led me to a new kind of issue that I wanted to talk about. Did you realize that a very limited amount of people don't have any internet. Oh yes, I know. Down on Cooper's Bottom, yes. there's no internet. You know, and 
it's not that they don't want it they can't have it right there's no place to put it in and the limit on that I mean just for the social media aspect it was just it was like a light bulb guys right what happened was I had a friend that said I love seeing you on channel 15 <laughs> and I said well hey you can watch us all the time on Facebook and she said I don't have internet she can't get it so I don't do social media and she's down in the valley so she doesn't have that ability to get the reception otherwise right. she has to have it on a desktop and right. there's no way to run well, the wire. And then we went on to talk about you know how do you do it and I was like well I use you know certain phone data or mm -hmm. whatever but then I got to thinking wow if you couldn't afford that or how exactly. did it go so listen up guys that's why we are talking about you can still use the post office mm -hmm. get a post office box we're gonna get one I'm getting one for you guys you can mail your letters and your right. donations to us and you can still use Facebook and Instagram <laughs> but that's why so I'm very grateful and very thankful for my children and my daughter and this competition is goes a few more days and we'd love for you to vote yeah. but if you don't have that access we're trying to bring you as much as we can yes to help you kind of connect I, I think it, I just that. think it's wonderful, you know, because she has been trying to do this, and yeah. this is one of her goals to do this. But then, with the internet, like she's saying, there are even kids that we mentor that are in school they cannot do their homework because they have no internet at right. home, and everything's on the iPad. Right now, now they can download. I did learn they that can was, they can download the books and take them home. That's true, but it's still but in order to access what if they get home and realize oh I've got to do this too and I can't I, right now I can't get on the internet and I can't do it so the next morning this child is already starting off on the wrong foot right because now they're stressed because they couldn't do their homework and I know we I would love to solve all this all we the can't. issues with internet but we can't, we can't and we can't yeah. solve all those so that's why we thought we'll offer as many services yeah and as great production but what we can enjoy. what we can tell you is if you need internet service and you don't have it you can always like drive downtown Milton and you can access it then or if you come over to Madison on Main Street they actually have the internet available for visitors you can just park somewhere and the internet's there and you can actually access it so I know mom and dad I may be and don't an issue, forget our libraries yes lot you can go to the I Bedford library <laughs> yep go to Trimble County's library it's in Bedford Kentucky or come over here to Madison and you can actually go to the Jefferson County library here so in either county you have access to right. the internet at your at your public library so I kind of like it you know I live close to the Trimble County Library mm -hmm. so I can always go there but then I'm kind of almost halfway between uh, Bedford Library is a little closer but it's the Madison Library is so close that I can just turn right or left and I'm at a library within 10 minutes I love that yeah but I do love to come to the Madison uh, Riverfront yes that's and, and I'll just get online and I I do still spend some time on my <laughs> phone and look through the internet and Facebook and all of my social medias mm -hmm. but it's so much fun to sit there and you know you can always stroll around and then you can look well, out so at the calming. river it is it's, it's beautiful it's just really a calm place to love be. that Ohio River yeah I guess I'm a river rat huh well I think yeah I think my daughter wrote a song about that you know <laughs> <laughs> we might show that to y'all one day okay right. we're gonna move on I want to show you guys something so I have this little name tag and I had it in my sneak peek which hmm I don't know if she's gonna play this or not we'll see I don't know I, don't, I haven't seen whatever this sneak peek is yet we'll have to <laughs> so, okay gotta get it together <laughs> okay this is my name tag and I know it just says my name Tina Drake but lately I have been to so many different restaurants and businesses right. and of course my travel and I've been writing down ideas about customer service oh that's and I'm gonna put a little twist on this because there were some people talking to me the other day and they were like you know that's a really good restaurant has great food so I went and the one thing they told me right before I went was it's terrible customer service oh I went I don't know if I'd gone <laughs> well the food was amazing okay the customer service was mediocre okay however maybe they were young or well and they weren't new. they oh, were oh so they should have known but I want to say this for all of the owners out there if you get a report about poor customer service that's your responsibility yes your customer or your employees just like my students 
will do what you expect them to do and you don't have to yell at them well, sometimes it's a lack of training right and that's why I said the reason I pointed this out was this was my reminder because I've only been working with Miss Debbie Crawford for a little while maybe Long two time. years <laughs> that's not a little but while. <laughs> in this but but really in this evolvement we right. really have ventured together in our oh, business adventures yeah, we really have. and one day she just said I, I got this babe for you <laughs> And it was amazing to me because it was so different of a response. I went, I have a name tag, and it made me feel important. Well, she is important, but I wanted people to know who she was. When she shakes hands with somebody, I don't want to have to say, this is Tina Drake. I want to just say, have you met Tina yet? Because she's more than just Tina Drake. I mean, it's just you're... You're a little more than Tina Drake. So I want them to know who she is, but when she shakes hand with somebody and that she's away from here, they recognize her face, but they can't remember her name. And that puts them on the awkward foot because they don't want to ask. Right. But if she's got this name tag on and she shakes their hand with her right hand, they see that name tag and they're like, oh my gosh, Tina, I'm so glad to see you. So now they're more on a personal right. level. So it just takes away some of the awkwardness. It also lets people know who she is without her having to say anything. It's just and because I don't she even is important. I have not had anyone ask me, so who do you work for? And I didn't I don't feel the need to tell them. No. But it's been such a rewarding experience <laughs> because I didn't think of it until you gave me a name tag. I've had a name tag. I worked with the school, right. you know. I've had name tags for other companies. I have business cards. But that name tag truly made me feel important enough for yes. her to for her to purchase it. And also, here's the twist. Those owners, listen up. Owners of businesses, how many times do you think I'm going to give poor customer service? If your name is plastered on If there. my name is there. <laughs> right. It, and I'll tell you, I'm going to shout out Walmart because they have actually had in several little towns I've been in names with like meat sunshine tina that would be what mine yes. is or meet happy where else did i see that was it cvs recently i don't know but it could be they have new name tags and they have labels for them and they chose them what a great idea and i'm not sure please don't quote me if it wasn't well, Walmart. i, I think just it's know important. it's been in the different cities right. i've been in and i've even chuckled i know where it was it was in uh, long beach california and I was at a Whole Foods store, and I walked up, and it had some kind of label. Right. And she had a heart, and then her name was under that label. And it said, hi, I'm, and then it had her name. Right. And that was one place. I've seen a couple, but... I think it's important. It does. And customer service, how can it be? Well... Can it be that simple? So the reflection that I brought it all the way back to a circle. You guys know I have to do that. <laughs> Bring it all the way back to a circle, but... I don't blame those employees if they had poor customer service. No, it's not. I, I really don't think it's their fault. No. Unless they've had a ton of training and they just didn't listen. Right. Which doesn't usually happen. But if they felt important, <clears throat> truly. There's another thing you can do. You call them Miss Crawford. Come here, I need some help. Miss Drake, can you do this for me? If you're always just saying, Tina, go get that. Well, you don't care much about them if right. you're just kind of talking at them right i just i don't i'm a little different and i know that and i'm sorry if somebody gets offended from this but i think if you show respect to the people that work with you and you show that you care not just by giving them a paycheck right then you're going to get that you, that's going to be reflected in the way they work and i just me okay i do have to slide <laughs> this in here she just she doesn't care she's really going on her total wings of oh. Tina Drake today so <laughs> <laughs> whoops okay which for an example I have a dear friend that owns the peanut out right. in Kansas you've heard me talk yep. about him and Brent always tries to make his people feel like family well yeah and not only there were people that would come in there and this was our regular place and right. we ate brunch there every Sunday we always were there on Wednesday you know when we lived in Kansas but Brent made us feel like family I mean we when we weren't there he called to check on us so right. not only were his employer employees family i mean we knew the chef the cook right. he was not called a cook or a cook help he was the barbecue chef right and we knew that 
that's important. I think so. And how many uh, owners? We have so many wonderful businesses oh, in we this do. area. We Carrollton do. has beautiful. Eric and I have been experiencing everything between Crestwood and Scottsburg. Uh, we have some amazing, things. amazing, and people want to come and they want mm -hmm. to be here. And we want you to have good customer service. But not only that, we want you to have the pride in the people working right. for you. Lift and, them up. And you know, also, if you're an employee and you haven't had training or you you just took the job and you're not quite sure what you should be doing don't just keep doing the same thing go to the boss and say hey I want to know more about how to do my position right and I guarantee you they're gonna look at you surprised first and then they're gonna go oh okay well let me see what I can do or they're gonna direct you to one of the other employees that they feel presents that Need, you know they're already doing that yeah. and they present that person right. so they'll pair you up with them but if you don't ask you're not going to know and then the employers if they don't always think they think oh this is a really nice kid he'll be fine well he will be fine but you need to give him a little tips right on Just, what to do you know say I, I love the way that you do that I always love the way you know you do this I do have to add somebody I wish I could think of his name I will remember and I promise I will bring it back to our next coffee talk but I want to bring him up there was a young man at McDonald's and I don't know if you've experienced this greeting he was it gives me cold chills to talk about this man he was the he was a young man and he was greeting us and said hi how can I help you today and I hope you have a wonderful day that was his greeting yes have you met him yeah I think so he is in Madison McDonald's mm -hmm. I I wish everybody would go there so when this was all done I don't really typically fill out those surveys right he impressed me so much that I filled out a survey wrote his name I wish I could think of his name That's I okay. will I promise I will shout you out buddy you were awesome well you know I think that goes back to the owner George now I may say George's last name wrong and I apologize George I'm really sorry but I believe it's George Saliba and when he goes to work he will hug everybody I mean, he owns like 16 or more McDonald's so he's at a different one every day but he goes in and he hugs every person and says how's it going how's your schoolwork how's your college going how's that's so great have you got that new house yet but he really cares about those kids or adults and he makes a point of being part of their life and encouraging them or whatever so they have learned from him how to behave or how to greet or right you know so I he just, actually threw George is a, amazing. he threw an anniversary work anniversary for my aunt yes aunt Denise congratulations you did a wonderful <laughs> job for all <laughs> yes. these years I mean seriously she's still there right but he does he shows that value and you can do it too you really can oh, you yeah. can anytime somebody impresses you or they are kind and they do show good customer service take the time to either compliment them to their face yes if you want right or write that survey because uh, they told me that he would get a little bit I don't know what he got so I didn't have an end result but I, I needed to tell I wanted to take him and put him on McDonald's commercials <laughs> everywhere I was that impressed right and we want you to have great experiences oh, yeah we want the owners so. to have great experiences mm -hmm. so if you if you don't know ask don't don't wait exactly. for the owner. they may be busy and not you know that that's not their focus that day and you're like wow I could really use a little more um, training in this area than just go ask say hey I'm not sure about this can you send somebody over or can you tell me what to do or whatever and they'll get right get you. then you'll be more comfortable and so now we're moving on to our next thing and what is our next because this is hers now oh <laughs> what is our next thing <laughs> well our next thing was you wanted you had a question about grandparents again yes I do have a question about grandparents. <laughs> what would you like to advise us as of being a great grandparent oh I don't know about being a great grandparent but being the best grandparent you can I think still I always go back to this you realize what your child and their spouse want for that grandchild now it may not be exactly what I would like to do because I would like to take my granddaughters out hiking but my <laughs> my my child and my child's spouse are not wild about critters in the wild <laughs> so we have to kind of be a little careful about that but there are goals they have for them and uh, I think you have to help them achieve those goals right 
and when my grandchildren get in trouble they may run to me and cry and whine and they're in my lap and you know you can do two things you can say oh that old mean mommy or that, that old daddy's being hard on you no don't say that you just hug and snuggle them and you say well now you know mommy only did that because she's worried about you right if she didn't love you she'd just let you run off the porch and break your leg right but you know they're always like don't go next to the porch you'll fall off you know <laughs> so but yeah, I think you have to remind them that the parents are doing the best they can for them. Now, that doesn't mean that later I go to my child and say, you know, if you teach them how to jump off the porch safely, it might not, you might not have to worry about it. But you don't say that in front of the child. Right. You never, right. You never say something against the parent in front of the child. So be respectful. Right. And, you know, that is one of our right. adventures we've been working on yeah. is how to be respectful. Yes. And, how to, well, the, how to bring that respect into yeah. ourselves. Yeah, the other day we were laying there watching TV and um, Penelope was laying on her belly and then she was um, kicking me with her feet, you know, playing, but I was pinching her yes. and, and picking on her. And her daddy looked and said, Penelope, stop that. And I was like, now, nah, Penelope, daddy didn't know why I was picking on you, so he didn't realize that, you know, you're kicking me because we were playing. But that told daddy we were playing, but that didn't... I did not correct him right at the same time I just said it out loud now Penelope yeah. it's okay daddy didn't realize I was pinching you and picking on you so right then he knew that I was and causing the issue <laughs> I was causing it yeah so I think you really need to be careful and always support the parents in front of the kids and now you know, what you do later is that's grandparents you know in our day and age are a big part of our children and I think about when yeah. we were just talking earlier about my daughter and I don't mean to bring it up over and over but it just it's it's intriguing and exciting to me to look at the support of grandparents and great grandparents and, That's and I look at my mom and I think and my dad I just I look at my entire family and I mm -hmm. think if it hadn't have been for those people there would be a lot of gaps and, and things might not have turned out right the way they did. And I mean, I allowed them to kind of help us mold. We did have goals as far as parents right. for our children right. and, and they were different maybe than others. Obviously, that's why they're all into the entertainment industry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but, but it is interesting right. and what they were exposed to yes. as far as great things. And they were always told them, you know, I have to go back every time she talks about grandparents. My grandmother, Baba, said the greatest thing that I've lived and learned every day, and that is if you can't say anything nice, don't say it at all. Well, that's a big one. That is really big because I think nowadays with our society and Facebook and Twitter and all that, we say too much. And then two or three weeks later, we think, wow, I shouldn't have said that. Well, it's too late now. It's been on, it's been on Facebook for how many weeks and months, and everybody's read right, it, and everybody right. knows what you're thinking. So... I would suggest to not say what you're thinking at the time, wait a day or two, and right. then modify. And that's something that we all can work on, but you know, when you do have a mind that runs very right. rapidly, which I have a new series I'm going to be doing on ADHD and how they live with it mm -hmm. and how we live with it, but just think before you speak. I mean, even if it takes you a minute, stop and think, how would this hurt me if somebody said this to me yes and how can and back I to the golden rule how can I spin that back to be positive exactly like the, the day we were um, I was in Bedford one day and a lady walked up to me and starts telling me all of these bad hearsay things about our candidates and I thought about it for a couple of days and then I put on Facebook I, I just I didn't say anything really ugly I just said how shameful to spread rumors that you have not seen you don't have pictures for you have no recording of right and it's hearsay shame on you we should let our candidates run right on their accomplishments and their goals not by hearsay now you know by, uh, by all means if there's something that's happened and you have footage in some way then okay but if it's just because so-and-so said mm -hmm. I, I'm done I don't want to hear it well, and I think that goes with our next section of our, you know, our love section live, yeah. and how live love. And, and you don't know that part. if you're basing an opinion yes. on a person six months, six years ago, unless you're in that person's life every day, you that, don't know. that is not that same person. No. And I look at kids every day and I think, wow, you guys have, I mean, we had a past, right? 
these kids have a past that's recorded. Yeah. That's something big. And that has been one of the biggest things with our, you know, our next evolvement is these kids, I get to look at everybody and go, yeah, I was a really terrible middle schooler. And I was. I was. But there's no Facebook. But there's nothing that says, oh. oh my gosh, you were a terrible eighth grader, you know. And I look at that now and I think that's not a bad thing. I'm not necessarily not. No. I'm just saying it's really important for you to think before you act because now yes. you do have a recording of everything. Yes. And I when mean, you put it on Facebook, it's an affidavit. Just, I, I need to make sure you understand this. You put it on Facebook, it's an affidavit and it can be used in a court of law. It can. So, you know, I know some people, I had a friend that ended up being, uh, she was getting a job in an attorney's office. What was the first thing they had her do? Delete her Facebook page. Really? Well, that's for two reasons. One, what if there's something on there that colors her in right. a bad light? What if she loves something and now they have a court case and then she's, she's on this side of it right, and right. they're representing the other side of it? So, yeah. I'm so glad I don't have to live in that well, world. Well, <laughs> there's some people I know that when they got older and got a new job, they had some things on their page that their friends had posted, not them, but their friends had posted onto their page that were not appropriate. So they didn't know whether to unfriend their friends. Boy, how do you take care of this? They deleted that Facebook page. Wow. And then waited two or three months so they had time to talk to everybody and say, look, this job's really important to me. Mm. I really enjoy this job and I want to keep it. And I don't want anybody to judge me by what's on my Facebook page. So if you would please don't share or post things on my page right. that, I'm, that I don't agree with. Mm -hmm. You know, don't force me to have that on my page. And after that, was, all their friends were wonderful. But they said, oh, sure, no problem, no problem. And then they created a new Facebook page. Oh, that was good. So they found a way around that. And then I showed them some tricks to keep people from doing that too. She's yes. very good with Facebook. That's why I always look at her when she's talking about it. And I go, uh-huh. <laughs> she's getting it. <laughs> I'm learning. But there's a, you know, you can put that safety net where you have to approve right, what right. people want to share on your page, but they didn't know that at the time. But there is nothing so private on that internet or That's the true. computer. That's <laughs> true. It can be pulled up. Okay. But if it's, if it's sent to you by a friend, it doesn't show up sure, and appear sure. you approve of it. I just always throw that in there mm -hmm. because of my students that could not believe that I could find every email they had in eighth grade and it actually was from their you know and so I printed them off and handed it to them and said you know exactly. here's, here's the book that you're writing <laughs> yeah and it's being published every day yes. so that's something to think yeah. about you know I, I think that's really important so. but don't judge others based on what you knew back then oh no, no you know if 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 you have a reason to say something about somebody, just like I said, my grandmother, Violet Ashby, Bob always said, you know, make it a happy thought and make it what you say happy. You right. Know, if you positive. have something good to say, say it. Yep. If you don't, might let it go on because it's probably going to create you more trouble than it's oh, worth. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes when you stir something up, you end up in the mix. Right. So you got to remember that too. We are so excited to have, oh, we're just excited you're here and to be with you Definitely. in your living room or wherever you're at. We're just happy. On your this. iPhone? <laughs> On your iPhone. We're happy. We're going to bring you some great things this year. We're in a roll now and we've kind of oh. missed out. We've missed you for about a month now, hasn't it been? Yes, because we've been re replanning, formatting, right. or whatever, and uh, making some new goals. And I think we've come up with some really awesome things. We're we're super excited. Oh my gosh. There's some things we're going to be doing that uh, I wish we'd done them like two or three months ago, but right. we couldn't. The timing so. wasn't right. Nope. Now it's there. Yep. Listen, guys, if you happen to have a small business at home and you need some extra help, give yeah. us a call. You know, the Bridging the Gap Productions. Right. We have opportunities for you, even if it's not with us. Doesn't necessarily mean if you contact us that oh. we. We have willing, are willing, or mm -hmm. we want to, but we want yeah. to. We just would like to help you find your connection right. that you need. So we're we're excited. We love all of our sponsors. We're looking for some new sponsors. If you're interested in boosting your sales, we always want to help you. Yeah. But I have a uh, dance class coming up. That's at the Boys and Girls <laughs> this Club. This is really exciting. Um, I don't know. She's just managed to come out and do this when we've tried to get her to do it for months and so she's going to be having that dance class at the boys and girls club and if you want to have your child in that class which they will benefit greatly from it i can tell you just go to the boys and girls club 
talk to Brandy and get them signed up and uh, and it's gonna be fun be on what this nights, is, uh, what nights Monday nights on? Monday nights and I think it's I think she's planned it from four to five yes so you don't have to go out again mom and dad right you go pick your kid up from the book from the Boys and Girls Club you go home and eat dinner and you don't come back out right. you're you're done they've had dance class they've right. been with a bubbly crazy lady and they've had a great and time we're just and gonna have fun we're truly talking yeah. about some fun things and I, I'm looking well they're forward gonna to learn a few things too. oh yes we're learning so. we have several nine dances <laughs> and I've worked on choreography but mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you come truly to have fun yes and then we're not gonna tell you about the new sneaky uh, adult dance class yet because it's still forming but it will be back and it will be here soon so yes and I'm excited. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, y'all make sure you take a nap at work I, I know I didn't say that out loud because um, you're gonna need it when you go to this dance class you're yeah gonna. we are gonna have even <laughs> more fun but it'll be adults only and we'll let you know right. about it when it comes up awesome well do we have anything else for them this time we're good so we went over yeah um, you know about Bella La Vie yep. and Live Love LLC we are combining efforts we're gonna have a post office box posted with this oh for right. channel 15 people we will have that on there too yes it will be on there and we'll make sure that that post office box is accessible to you you if you just oh, want to yeah. mail us letters you don't have to have donations in there if you want a letter sent or right. a message sent you do and before I am done we are done we have to stop but coming back we are remembering this so I want you to look let me see if I can look at it I'm gonna see if I can get this as close as possible I want you to just look at it for just a second this is one of my favorite postcards and you actually get to just decide what you see in there it is a postcard for imagination people only so don't request it if you don't want to use your imagination but if you want to request that postcard it's, it's my favorite it's funny because I'll hand that to people and and some of them go oh that's just a tree I'm like no there's I a face in there I don't like, see oh, don't a, tell them oh, that's there. true okay she just wants to tell you guys listen <laughs> don't listen to her okay get in touch with us one yeah. way or another Facebook Instagram we have whatever great deal of sponsors we love you all of you oh thank we you love all of you keep being great in customer service train your employees to love being proud of working now, for you you know we didn't cover this but if you have employees and you want them trained and you don't have someone on staff that's really good at showing customer service that's one of our sections that's one of our sections we can help you with that we'll come in and, and talk to the employees and actually we will have them do it we right. will have them actually go and, and interact and actually and we'll Do create the service we thing. will create you a handbook for yeah. working with you but Bullet just remember it and give them bosses yeah. <laughs> leaders whoever you yeah. are remember those people are the face of your company oh goodness and you can have the greatest burger greatest barbecue you can have everything great as food wise right but if you're not treating your employees properly and wonderful and they're not in turn returning that to their right. your customers it's a little bit of a downfall but that's we don't want to end on a negative note we got that make sure that you continue to love one another and don't forget live love is changing the world one happy thought at a time and as always we thank you for watching